Argos will pay. At the next eclipse, I shall unleash the Kraken. Argos will be swept from the Earth, and all of you with it. Prepare to rise up against the gods in the upcoming video game adaptation of Clash of the Titans, unexpectedly being developed by Japanese developer Game Republic. Players step into the role of Perseus, a young man living a simple life on a peaceful island. But after soldiers defile the idols of the gods, Hades brings his wrath down upon the inhabitants, sparing Perseus after realizing he's the son of Zeus. Perseus then sets off on a quest to stop Hades, who has vowed to unleash the fearsome Kraken upon mankind if they do not submit to the will of the gods. Perseus, where do you think you're going? Think about Tekla, father. How long can she go on eating beans and watery soup? She shouldn't have to live like this. It's an epic task, but you won't undertake this task alone. Joining you are the soldiers of Argos, who will aid you in battle during certain missions. You have the option to play solo with the AI controlling your partner, or you can team up locally with a friend for some co-op action. Good news! My brother and I have decided to accompany you on your journey. The game is structured around a quest system, and as you progress to new locations, you set up a base camp which serves as a hub for the area. From there, you can undertake various quests dished out by NPCs. There is plenty of action as you hack and slash your way across ancient Greece. The combat system will feel familiar to veterans, but there are a few key elements that offer a new twist on a classic theme. While Perseus always has his trusty blade at his side, this mythological hero prefers to keep his options open, stealing weapons from his opponents to create an ever-expanding armory. You can use up to four implements of death at a time from your accumulated arsenal, mapped to the different directions on the D-pad. Each weapon is fully upgradable, and newer models become available down the road. Using these powerful purloined arms will make you a mighty warrior, but doing so dips into your magic meter, which is replenished by wailing on foes with your default sword, or using a special ability that drains their power. Certain enemies and obstacles can only be cleared with the use of a special weapon, so you'll have to mix up your fighting style if you want to fight your way to Hades himself. In all, players will visit over 15 different regions, both based on the movie and conceived specifically for the game. In addition to the main story, there are a few diversions waiting to be unearthed. Challenge maps accessible from any save point let players replay tough missions for better rankings and stat boosts, and there's planned DLC that will tack on even more quests and new weapons to extend the adventure. The Titanic Clash is set to hit stores later this month. So be sure to return to game trailers to see if Perseus will be able to succeed in his quest and stand up to the intimidating titans of the action genre. Have something to drink. You'll feel more lively.